Indiana Crossroads of America. Different state, different rules. Where are yes. we going? Yeah, Jamedo, Shipshawana. Indiana. Jamedo, Shipshawana. I tell you, Shipshawana. Uh, me, me, it's sad. Amisha. <laughs> Miejsce Amisha. Tak. Jedziemy do wioski Amiszów. Pośmiać się z nich. Pośmiać się z nich i, um, i, i pokazać im, jakie życie jest fajne. Jak się ma prąd. Prąd? Electricity. Jak się ma prąd i wszystko. And they wear different, you'll see that the, they should be different. This is a buggy? It looks yes. like, a, like a prison. Uh... Nope, and inside there's the people are in black generally if they're Amish, I'm pretty sure. Jimmy Yest. Yarek Wodde. Yeah, call it. and more. Kitchen and the showroom. Subway! There's a subway in an Amish village. That's funny. There's an Amish person and a, and a horse. Okay, yeah. uh, maybe let's just ask where downtown was because I, she, she said something but... Oh, there's a buggy! There's a buggy! Jesteśmy w sklepie. Wreszcie prawdziwe quilt, czyli narzuty, które zostały zrobione przez Amishu. W związku z tym są też dużo droższe. Wcześniejsze były made in China. W związku z tym cena idzie w górę. Proszę popatrzeć. 1025 dolarów. Osobiście nigdy bym sobie na łóżko takiego czegoś nie dała. Ale ma to swój urok robiony by hand. Czyli ręcznie przez Amishów. Wyszywany ręcznie albo na maszynie. Chociaż nie, bo maszyna wymaga prądu. Czy maszyna wymaga prądu? Czy są maszyny bez prądu? Does a sewing machine require electricity? Yes. So it was not done by a sewing with the sewing machine, it was done by hand. They, these it depends. Some people do it with sewing machines, some people do it by hand. I, if it's handmade, it should say handmade, I would imagine. Kasia told me I should say something very intelligent, but I have nothing intelligent to say except that Kasia would like to stay here among all of the Amish people. She wishes to live without electricity, and she wishes to plow fields, and I'm going to show you. This is my new life. My tractor, Alice. I'll dominate the world. Ooh. I'll dominate the world with my... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. These damn cars everywhere. Whoa. <laughs> that silver thing? The lantern. Shoes. Amish shoes. 
An Amish cupboard. Oh, that's a lantern? Yeah, see? Can there's, see a, there's actually a candle, like a beeswax candle in there. Amish shoes. Oh yeah, that's true. I don't think you can see it, but it's there. Yeah, this would be kind of fun to do this. Oh, this is closed. I'm afraid it's gonna, everything's gonna be from China. Yeah. To pomysł na nowy vlog, który będzie albo już powstał, jak wam to pokazuję. Dlaczego wszystko jest zrobione w Chinach? Chinach. <laughs> Jarek mówi, że to maszyna do robienia popcornu. Bitch, maybe. Could be popcorn or it could be a pie maker also. Pie, oh, a pie. Maybe that's, that's, that's more like it. Pie. It's old. Oh, jak śmierdzi koniem. Śmierdzi koniem. Village blacksmith. Custom historic knives. Ha! <laughs> I have things for ladies too. <laughs> It's not, it's not just a boy, boy shop. shop. It's, a, it's a lady shop. Because it's blacksmith stuff. <laughs> are these teeth? Those are teeth. Oh my goodness. In 1900, I've had them since I was an English teacher 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, those were the teeth they were starting to make so a dentist could match, match. Mm -hmm. and um, match the color. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then those would have been embedded permanently in. That's why I still uh, am a blacksmith and make knives. But anyway. Isn't that funny? But that was good. With the boys when I was in the whole flea market has gone too commercial. Yeah. But everything is China and Pakistan. We just said, we just yes, said that. Yes, everything is from China. Like, Where are all the Amish made goods? <laughs> I said, I don't know. This, and this is what the, have, have you been here before? You never, no. never. Okay, this is what the flea market used to look like. Okay. A shop like this where you could, my God, go in and buy anything in the world. Exactly. Bottles. Oh, I like these yeah. bottles. And um, it, in the last 10 years has the older ones, for example, that are, I mean, I say older, but they're really in their 50s. Sure. They know the original techniques in doing a lot of the stuff. Right. Which the new people coming in there. Parking dla buggies. Oh, horse poop. Horses. Idziemy na flea market, czyli pchli targ. Zobaczymy, co z tego wyjdzie. Wytwory Amishów. Homemade Amish peanut butter spread. Honey roasted peanut butter homemade. Drogi. Drogi. 5,89. No hola. Here's what you were talking about. Right? Sun dried tomatoes. Oh yeah. That's what you were talking about. And they're really good. Yeah. In oil. They're very good in oil. Mm. Show, show us the popcorn. We're buying Amish. Purple popcorn. Amish country purple popcorn. That's pretty cool. It might be tasty. Przyprawy. 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 Chicken. Buffalo grass fed. So why is grass fed beef better than grain fed beef? Because <laughs> grain and corn fed beef gives a different taste to meat. Uh -huh. Grass fed is all natural. All natural so buffalo. No artificial ingredients. So the corn can be like genetically modified. And, oh yeah. And the grass is not. So no hormones. None of it.
time out chair. What is a timeout chair, Yadik? So that's a chair that when a child misbehaves, he has to go in the timeout chair. He has to sit there for a set amount of time, and they'll tell him how long it ha they have to sit there. And they and they do it. They have to. If they don't, they keep going back in the chair, back in the chair. And, and then, then but if they get uncomfortable, they can go here and go potty. <laughs> go potty. This is so cute. <laughs> But this is like for, this chair is like for what people? I mean for what, is it for the Amish community or is no, it for? No, for all kids. All kids? We have them, yeah. We have them, so. Um, I'm it. person uh, depends if there are other people like me there then yes otherwise no but I mean you know the simplicity you know electricity yes, like I could do that like uh, riding buggy yep I could do that That's sweet that would make you really happy mm -hmm. no electricity Absolutely. no internet no phone yep. no oh, I, simple I could, life simple life I could get no used to very quickly no washing machines like just do everything you do, you do by it by hand. hand. Yep. Really? It would make life much simpler. You wouldn't have to worry about things. Cheaper too, I would say. Well, cheaper, but I don't know. I think that's not much of a lifestyle. No? I'm a, I'm a you know, town girl. You're a city girl. I'm a city girl. <laughs> I'm a city girl. And I can't stand. And you're an American city girl. American. American? American. American. American city girl. And I girl. couldn't stand. I think living like simple people. It's just, I think it would be just too boring. I really? mean, you go, you go to sleep when the sun goes down, you get up when the sun goes up, you feed the chickens, you feed the cows. You do a lot of reading. You do a lot of reading, you go and pray. You sit, so. Then you go to church, you sew. This is so boring. Really? Yeah. It's simple though. Very little worries other than making but, sure you have enough to eat and that you garden well. But I don't like simple, that kind of simple. No. I don't mind that simple life actually. I think the hardest thing for me would be hmm, no iPhone. Probably how how they cook. If they really had no electricity, they'd have to cook by fire, right? Mm-hmm. So and it that takes be, hours, probably. Yeah, so that would be something that would be very difficult for me to get used to. But I would try it. I'd be willing to try it. I think if I spent a couple weeks on an Amish farm, and then see what it was like, and see if I could like it. I can say up front, no. Maybe a day? No. Maybe two? No, I, I, no, I just... I just can't. I mean, do they use deodorant? Well, of course. But they wash their clothes by hand. I mean, my back would kill me. And they make their own clothes, too. They make their own clothes? Uh -huh. These are all their own. They make their own. I, so it's terrible. It's just too difficult. I mean, not too difficult. It's just, if life can be easier, then why not make it easier? Why make it difficult by doing all that stuff alone? Because then, obviously, if, if, you, if you think it's easier, that's fine, but then you pay more, right? So then you become a slave to your money. And these people are not slaves to their own money. Well, you don't know that. Well, no, they, they can't be. Because they do everything by hand. They do it the old way. They Yoder's Fabric Department Store. And buggies again. So Yoder is a very typical Amish name. I would say so. That's what your father said. Yeah. Woo, here they go. Here they go. Unbelievable. 
And imagine their only entertainment is going to church or going to a dance and singing and clapping religious songs and, and but, just but what if they dancing. Did, maybe they put them in place. They do, religious ones. How do you know they're religious? Well, most of them are. Well, I mean, the people are, but do you know that the plays are religious? Yeah. Are they all religious? I guess, most of them. Mm. I don't know. Or to be.